hello everyone and welcome back to fluid's corner so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make these holiday festive looking yeast donuts so please stay tuned first you're going to start with one cup of warm milk then you're going to add one packet of fast acting yeast you're going to need one egg then you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar one to two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring and then you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour now you're going to attach your hook attachment to your stand mixer and now you're going to add in three tablespoons of softened butter let that mix until all of the ingredients are incorporated and then you're going to notice that the dough is coming together as one now you're going to place it into a bowl and have the dough proof for one hour here is what the dough should look like it should have doubled in size now you're going to place your fist in the middle to remove some of the air then you're going to place it onto your silicone mat and we're going to roll it out Now that the dough is all rolled out, now you're going to take a circle cutter and you are going to make different cuts in the dough. I chose my largest circle cutter to make these donuts, but you can use any size that you like. Now I like to take one of my large jumbo piping tips and make circle holes in the middle of the donut dough. If you use the smaller circle cutter, then you can use a regular size piping tip to cut out the holes in the middle. Now we're gonna get ready to fry these babies up. You're just gonna add some oil to a pan or a pot, either or is fine. In total, this dough mixture made 12 large donuts. Now we're gonna place our donut one by one into the oil. You can check them at 20 seconds to see if the other side has gotten golden brown and cooked, but make sure never to take your eye off because it can burn very quickly. Once it's become golden brown on the other side, now you're going to flip them over until both sides are golden brown. Once they are done frying, then you're gonna place them in a pan on some paper towel. And now we're gonna get started on our glaze. So you wanna start with one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Then you're gonna add in about four tablespoons of milk. You don't want your glaze to be very runny, so I like to add two tablespoons at a time. Once you start mixing it in, if you notice that it needs a little bit more liquid, that's when you'll add the other two tablespoons more of the milk. If you do notice that your mixture has gotten a little bit too liquidy, then all you do is add more powdered sugar to balance it out. Add one teaspoon of clear vanilla flavoring. I'm using clear vanilla because I'm trying to make my donuts look white. If you use the brown vanilla flavor, it will give it a little tint. I'm also gonna be using some red food coloring and some green food coloring to give these donuts different colors. So I separated them into three different bowls. I'm gonna take the back of my spoon and I'm gonna insert in the red food dye first and then I'm gonna mix it in. Then I'm gonna do the same with the green food dye. And now here is what all of the glazes look like. Do not fret because the food dye does not alter the taste. Now you're gonna take the donut and you're gonna place it into the glaze and kind of just shimmy it around so you can have a full coverage on the top of the donut and then you're gonna shake off the excess glaze and let it drip into the bowl. And I'm gonna do the same with the red glaze as well. If you notice any air bubbles, you can always take a toothpick and just pop them. Now you can add any decorations you like. Here I'm just adding some Christmas sprinkles that I had. I'm just placing them on the top. Try to do this right after you actually dipped it into the glaze because you want to do it while it's still wet. Now here you're going to see me doing the same with another donut in the green glaze as well. And do not fret if you notice that the glaze is going on the side of the donut. If you want it to be extra clean, all you have to do is just wipe it off. This was just for me and my family to consume, so it really didn't matter if it just got a little bit messy. Now it's up to your discretion on what decorations you would like to put on top. I only used some Christmas sprinkles that I had and sanding sugar that I had as well to decorate the top of these donuts to give it a more festive look. And here they are. They came out super holiday cheer friendly. 
They came out so delicious. You get the feel of the yeast donuts that are very lightweight and they tasted absolutely scrumptious. The kids absolutely love the color scheme. You know, red, white, and green always gives you that nice holiday festive look. I thought it was pretty neat to make the little donut holes the little baby offsprings of the donuts. So I tried to make them actually match with the bigger ones. I thought it was something cute. The kids actually got a good laugh out of it. Well, I will admit that these did not last long in my household, <laughs> but I thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.